Yo, 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 what's up, YouTube? I'm back with another banger with y'all, man. If you're new to the channel, get that like button, subscribe, and go comment. So, uh, this is my week two um, predictions with the Baltimore Ravens versus the, uh, the Miami Dolphins. So, once again, we have an NFC, uh, I'm sorry, AFC East division. So, it's definitely going to be interesting to see how it's going to play out. So it was we come we coming off a strong win against the um the Jets, you know, so and this team right here, I'm not gonna lie to Mid Miami Dolph, you don't wanna sleep on this team at all. When they, you wanna um, you know, kinda keep a close eye on it, the the duo we have on with the Dolphins with Tua. I can't even pronounce this guy's name, man. T T. I'm gonna call him T T, that's perfect. T T most is number one. And we got your boy, man, Mr. Ty, aka the Cheetah, man. Let me tell you something about Mr. Tyree Hill. Nah, you gotta follow this guy, damn Mr. Tyree Hill. Cheetahs can cheetahs can run fast, but they can't run fast for long. So make sure you home run fast. Touch touchdown. But uh, let me go ahead and start with the offense. You want to end with the defense. So the offense. Um, the Ravens got to do a you know a good job of uh not let not um not letting uh they have to do a better job of letting, not letting like good defenses far like Miami and get to their heads. What I mean is, off the offensive line has to uh keep the same energy from what they made last week. Uh, shout out to Landon Berm. He's done a good job. Number 74, which is a rookie. Um, dude's been killing it, man. I, I saw him doing the game last, last, you know, this past Sunday with Lamar, man. He's done a magnificent job on his first game. And uh, I'm just saying our first impression on the offensive side of the field, especially with number 17. Drake is a good fit with us. And also, I like the rotation with Wallace and everything else. And I ain't going to lie, that, that, um, the run game, what they have right now, they're holding it down just until, you know, what's the name gets back. So hopefully we can see. More of that this week coming up. So, if you the Baltimore Ravens, you know, try not to throw the ball so much on the offensive side of the football field. And that's what the Cowboys, you know, you got to learn from the Cowboys with the mistake they was doing. And that's how you lost the game against the game <laughs> against Tampa Bay. So, hope you don't see too much of that. So, I just expect the Ravens, you know, to use that time possession, run the balls, getting some yards in. And just, and just take over the game by time possession. You don't got to, you know, rush for every touchdown, you know, and everything like that. And I also want to give a shout-out to the uh, – to the wide receiver as far as McDuvenay and everybody else that's been doing their thing and everything. But I think that, you know, for Mr. Rashad Bateman, man, you got you to gotta be more aggressive out there, man. I was kind of disappointed how you started off in the game last week. I'm not trying to, you know, bash or anything like that, but you, like you got to go harder, man. And plus, you come from a tough wide receiver class. You got Justin Jefferson, Jamar Chase, all the other guys, CeeDee Lamb. So it's kind of tough, man. I understand where you're coming from, but for sure, you got to go hard. I want to see on that top 10 list, man. You ain't even top 15. And uh, I definitely want to see more of Mark Andrew. Didn't see too much of him, uh, you know, last week, but he'll be more aggressive, man. Just tells us that teams are getting more smart with the connection between him and Lamar. And uh, one thing I want to mention from last yesterday's game, from yesterday afternoon, once again, it was good to see Joe Flack out in that field. He got a chance to catch up with his old teammates and old rivals he had went against, man. Just so much respect when it comes to Joe Flacco, man. And y'all know I'm going to end it with. I'm going to end it with the defense. And the defense. Now, Marlon Humphrey, man, you got to stop being consistent, man. You keep, you, uh, you, you flash. You making too many flashing plays. You letting guys get open at the same time. I just can't, I just can't keep my foot off. Keep, keep, I can't keep my foot on your neck when it comes to you, man. Because you be... You just eat iffy some time, man. You gotta you gotta be aggressive the whole game. It's no excuse why you keep having these off and on switches, man. Be more consistent and stay focused, man. The season is gonna be for you know gonna be week seven. We and we out here, we can't make the same mistakes in the second secondary. But I love the fact how much secondary been playing so far. You know, every these guys working hard as a team, they've been getting it in, man. Just just being, you know, just just being aggressive, man. I love it. I love it. everything about that offensive side of the defensive side of football field. And uh with the front seven, um, Let's be more aggressive. You know, find a way to keep pressure on Tor. TT, that was his name is, number one. Find a way to keep pressure on him, man. I got it to get hot, man. He let the, you know, throw some yards in. He's right. He got, he got an old boy Tyreek, too. Yeah, I can see guys putting double coverage on Tyreek. That's the only guy we got to worry about. But, you know, Devontae, I don't know if Devontae Parker still plays for them. But, yeah, a couple receivers to watch out for. Miami Dolphins, their receivers are very underrated. And their offense is very good, man. So, definitely keep a lot of pressure. And just don't let uh, Miami get a hot, a hot start. You know, once to, see, the Ravens' problem is when a defense is out of the ball field, 
you cannot give these teams a hot start, man, because that, that's the, you know, they'll score another touchdown, they'll score another touchdown. Like, it has, it has, to, it has, to, be, it has to be done different. The, the, the approach has to be more aggressive. So, if you're the Ravens defense, just find a way to stay aggressive and just don't let uh, Tam, um, Miami defense, you know, get on top. And uh, that's about it for this. pretty much my prediction video. So, hope that uh, I can expect a lot. You know, from the Ravens team and everything, just to find a way to try to shut these two guys down, right? I'm telling you, these guys, this, this, this duo right here, they one of the hottest of the NFL right now. They're like a top five. You know, they, they, they I got to get credit one of those. They're doing they, they pretty good, man. I'm not going to lie. You know, I'm happy for Mr. Tyree Hill for getting your money, you know. So, and uh, Kansas City was a problem, man. They ain't going to be a problem with the Miami Dolphins coming into this week's uh, game, week two. So, you're going to see how this going to play out. But um, I'm expecting a lot for the Ravens. So I, I see the Ravens uh, beating them by a uh, field goal or touchdown because this ain't going to be an easy game at all. And, mind, they beat us week 18. No, it was a week 10 last season. So they snuck, they snuck a win from us. So hopefully we don't, we don't let that happen again. So, you know, just, don't, just learn from mistakes that we had made. But we should be, we should be prepared for them. You know, last year our cornerbacks were hurt and uh, everything. So we definitely have to uh, keep our eyes on the prize and uh, just get that win. So. That's all I gotta say for my prediction video. So, Ravens, stay aggressive. Um, trust the pro trust the trust the process and uh, big trust. You know I haven't heard it in a while too. So keep that big trust going, man. But anyway, if you're new to the channel, go hit that like button, subscribe, go comment. If you missed my uh, my recap, please go check me out the video from before. So I'll be looking forward to you folks. And uh, I see y'all, man. Y'all stay blessed. Y'all stay focused. I'm out with it, man. Peace.